Hi, I'm Diamond, the owner of Candlelit Concepts and More, a candle company located in Elko, Nevada. Today I'm going to show you how I go about making a soy pina colada decorative candle. First I take my container and I wash it thoroughly. I then dry it. Once properly dried, I then add my cotton wick. I attach it using a candle wick sticker. I then take the skewer to kind of press down on the sticker to ensure that it's properly secured to the bottom of the glass. Okay, so now that the wick has been attached to the container, I'm gonna take this little popsicle stick, it has pre-drilled holes on it, and I'm gonna use this to really kind of center my wick inside the container, and also um, prevent my wick from getting like loose when I pour hot wax into my container. So once I'm happy with the placement of my wick, I will go ahead and um, get my wax melting. Uh, normally I would add my fragrance oil and my liquid dye to the batch after it's melted, but today I'm not gonna be adding any liquid dye, um, mainly because pina coladas are white and the wax is already white, so that kind of alleviates that step for me. But I will um, be adding my um, measured out amount of fragrance oil again pina colada, so I did choose the pina colada fragrance oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this um, going on the stove. I'll be back. Okay, so we're back. Um, the wax has completely melted down and we're now ready to add our fragrance oil, pina colada, to our mixture. I'm gonna stir this in really, really well. I did transfer pots again because again like this is easier for me to pour into the container Good, I think we are ready to pour okay so with our pina colada, my overall design plan is I want to be able to pipe a little bit of like whipped cream on the top and put in my little embed, which is a little pineapple slice. And so in order to do that, I'm not gonna wanna fill it all the way to the top, but I'm gonna wanna come pretty close. Um, it really is kind of your preference on how, you, how much you fill. All right, so I did have a little extra um, wax, and the reason for that is because um, I wanna pipe that with cream on the top. So instead of mixing and heating and doing all of that twice, I just did the one batch, but I made sure to leave myself enough so that I could do the whipped cream after. So I'm just gonna pour the leftover wax into a bowl. And you can kind of see there already just the wax being poured into a cold bowl, how it's already kind of turning like an opaque color. That is what we want. Um, we are going to sit here and stir this wax until it reaches a consistency to a, um, that I can put it in my piping bag and pipe it on. Sometimes depending on the volume of wax that you are mixing, um, it could take hours for this process to be fully, you know, complete. With this being a pretty small amount, um, I have no doubt that by the time this candle starts to kind of, you know, um, solidify over along the edges or the perimeter of the glass, like this will be ready to pipe. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set this aside and keep stirring. So 
I'll be back. All right, so our mixture here has reached a consistency that is ready for piping. Um, as you can see, it is pretty stiff. It's not very runny anymore. So I went ahead and cut an opening into the end of my piping bag so that we can pipe this uh, whipped cream onto our pina colada candle. I also got out a mason jar. So I usually like to put my piping bag into the mason jar. It allows me to scoop in the mixture into the bag a lot easier, especially since I only have two hands. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in our piping bag. to the end of the piping bag. I'm gonna twist this just like you would normally if you were going to be icing a cupcake. You can also do a trial run before you actually try to pipe it onto the candle just to make sure that what you're doing is going to work. You can use piping tips as well if you want. Again, personal preference. So I'm bring my candle over. And I'm just gonna start piping a little bit of whipped cream around my wick here. enough to where you're happy with it. Go ahead and just let that solidify. I am also going to add as a little piece of decoration my little pineapple slice in bed that I made. It is also soy wax. And then I do have a little decorative umbrella that I'm going to put in there as well to really give it that tropical vibe. So I'm going to insert my umbrella on the one side of my candle and then I'm going to gently insert this into the opposite side. I'm going to kind of gently insert that into the like whipped cream that we just piped on so that it kind of adheres the um, pineapple slice to the candle. I'm pretty happy with that. There you go. There's our final pina colada candle. Thank you guys again so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks, and I hope you have a great day.